Hi, I'm Keith Haywood with a midweek message on behalf of St Anne's Church, Chasetown, for Wednesday the 24th of June. Every day for the past 10 or 12 weeks during this period of lockdown, St Anne's Church in Chasetown have been delivering a thought for the day by a variety of different speakers. So if you've been listening in, thank you. And I hope you've found at least some of them inspirational and challenging. Well, now that some of the restrictions caused by coronavirus have been lifted, and we're all perhaps beginning to gain a little bit of our freedom back, it's been decided that rather than have a thought for the day, we try a thought for the week. You probably won't notice much difference, other than instead of a thought every day, it will now be every Wednesday. Hence the new name, Midweek Message. And it's my privilege to bring you the first of these newly restructured midweek messages with a few thoughts. The killing of George Floyd in the United States a few weeks ago has undoubtedly highlighted for many some of the injustice and unfairness that's taken place all around us over the years and often gone on unnoticed, even in our own country. One such event for me was highlighted on Monday of this week, the day that marked the 72nd anniversary of what was perhaps the start of Britain becoming a multinational country, Windrush Day. On the 22nd of June 1948, the ship Empire Windrush arrived at Tilbury Docks in London carrying 492 West Indian immigrants who had come to this country at the invitation of the British government following the passing of the Nationality Act. This new act gave Brit British citizenship to those people who lived in Commonwealth countries and allowed them the right to settle in Britain. Britain desperately needed workers in the aftermath of the Second World War so Commonwealth citizens were encouraged to emigrate and help to rebuild their mother country so those who were able to scrape together the £28 for their tickets which equates to around £600 in today's value took their opportunity to do so it was a golden opportunity to make a better life for themselves and their families in these post-war years many who made that initial voyage were men who left their families behind in the hope of finding work and a home so that they could send for their families to join them when they'd done so. However, when they arrived they discovered that life wasn't going to be quite as rosy for them as they'd been led to believe. Although Britain was short of workers, there was also a shortage of housing. So many who arrived were initially housed in a deep level air raid shelter in Clapham while they searched for accommodation. In looking for accommodation and work they encountered a significant amount of hostility, intolerance, prejudice and racism. Houses that were up for sale or rent suddenly had signs in the windows saying that blacks need not apply. Similarly, when seeking employment, many were told quite bluntly that they weren't being employed because of their skin colour. It was a tough start to what was supposed to be a better life. Now, fast forward 70 years to the year 2018. And I guess many of us will remember what's become known as the Windrush Scandal. As the British government had started to tighten up on the status of illegal immigrants by the passing of a new Immigration Act in 2016, anyone without documents to prove that they were British were told that they were likely to be deported to their country of birth. Now that created a huge problem for the many still alive today, who had originally come from the Caribbean all those years ago. As children at the time, they travelled on their mother's passport, 
and on arrival no documentation was given to them as because of the Nationality Act they were already considered British citizens so those who'd been invited to Britain all those years ago who'd attended British schools worked in British jobs paid British taxes and enjoyed all the rights of being British citizens as they rightly were suddenly lost their jobs their homes they were denied benefits and medical care and treated as illegal immigrants as they had no paperwork to say they were British and had never been registered as such many were taken to deportation centers miles away from their families awaiting orders to send them back to their country of birth with at least 83 being wrongly deported thankfully after much lobbying by many MPs and with a 40,000 signature public petition the law which caused this time of unsettlement for so many of the Windrush generation was rescinded however for many the scars still remain as I thought about all this I then thought of the more recent injustices that have led to the forming of the movement Black Lives Matter I wondered how many more generations would suffer such intolerance and hostility before everyone can be treated with equal dignity and respect irrespective of race or background I remember back in the 1990s a wristband was produced with the letters WWJD it was worn by many Christians at the time because the letters represented the words what would Jesus do it was a visual reminder for Christians to stop and think how to respond to any given situation some 800 years before the birth of Jesus the prophet Micah was asking the same question but in a different way he asked the question what does the Lord require of you not just what are you going to do about it but what does the Lord want you to do or put simply what would Jesus do Micah answers his own question by saying what the Lord requires is to do justice to love kindness and to walk humbly with our God you can find that in Micah chapter 6 and verse 8 so may I leave you to ponder on those three things this week as we consider how to respond to personal local national and international situations as they arise do justice love kindness and walk humbly with God and before making a response quietly ask the question what would Jesus do a prayer loving Lord open our eyes to the needs of those around us especially those who are being treated unfairly and in seeking their need give us the will to seek justice love kindness and walk humbly with you our God Amen